Afghanistan is indeed undertaking an ambitious project known as the Kosh Tepa Canal, which is an artificial river aimed at addressing water and food shortages in the country. The canal is 285 kilometers long, 152 meters wide, and 8.5 meters deep. The primary purpose of the Kosh Tepa Canal is to provide irrigation water to the arid and desert regions of northern Afghanistan, particularly in provinces like Balk, Jauzjan, and Faria. The canal is designed to bring water to over 1 million Afghans and enable thousands of farmers to return to agriculture. It is a response to the ongoing water and food shortages crisis in Tituhi country. The project began in March 2022 and is planned to be completed in three phases. The first two phases involve the digging of the canal itself, while the third phase focuses on the installation of water irrigation systems, other necessary infrastructure. The project is fully funded by the Afghan government, primarily from tax revenues. The Afghani National Development Corporation is responsible for managing the project. Notably, Afghanistan is implementing this mega project without any foreign aid or engineering advice. This makes it a remarkable endeavor, given the country's historical challenges with war, violence, and poverty. Afghanistan complained that the canal may affect their share of the river water. However, Afghanistan has vowed to not allow such a thing to happen. It is also clarified that it is the only country that literally does not benefit from the river and thus it is entitled to its share this canal. is quite an urgent matter for the people of North. Afghanistan, which has become arid desert over the past few decades as a result of global warming decline, groundwater reservoirs, and lack of sufficient irrigation systems. The canal is now bound to provide water to more than 1 million Afghanis, while enabling thousands of farmers to return to agriculture. This will be achieved as 55,000 hectares of land are turned into farms with a great focus on grains and wheat. In fact, the country aims to become a wheat exporter. By 2028, the project began in March 2022 and is set to be completed in three phases, the first and second phases involve the actual digging of the canal while the third phase is dedicated to the installation of water irrigation systems and other infrastructure the project is managed by the afghani national development corporation and is fully funded by the government from tax revenues initial estimates put the cost at 500 million dollars however new estimates predict the need for additional 100 million dollars this leads us to wonder how the afghanis managed to undertake such a colossal project with limited and rather old equipment Afghanistan has entertained the idea of constructing a massive canal that would redirect the waters of the Amu Darya River to nourish its arid northern plains. However, a significant development emerged in January of this year. A video released by the Taliban revealed that the project was already well in progress. The Kosh Tepa Canal, with potential to redirect a substantial portion of the Amu Darius flow, has since garnered global attention and raised. Concerns on an international scale, you an Uzbek ecologist and the head of the NGO Union for the Defense of the Aral, and Amu Darya acknowledged that the lack of preparedness for such a scenario is a consequence of their own actions, exceeding the breadth of three Olympic swimming pools and already surpassing. One-third completion the canal has consumed a significant portion of public funds, approximately 8.2 billion Afghan Afghanis, equivalent to around USD 94 million in its initial phase the canal's primary aim is to transform a barren expanse of 550 zero hectares into vital farmlands facilitating the cultivation of essential crops like wheat and vegetable oil despite limited resources old equipment and a scarcity of experienced engineers the project has made significant progress the afghan government conducted extensive land surveying and soil studies to ensure the canal's path elevation and design were well suited for its purpose. The absence of concrete lining on the canal's floor and sides is viewed as a cost-saving measure and potentially beneficial for natural irrigation. The project has created job opportunities for thousands of workers and positively impacted the local economy. It has also led to optimism and happiness among workers, farmers and residents in the area who have been affected by war, droughts and poverty for many years. The project has also contributed to the widespread use of solar panels to power homes and workshops in areas with limited access to electricity. Initially, the project was scheduled for completion in 2028, but it appears to be progressing rapidly and the completion date may be moved up to as early as 2025. The success of the Kosh Tepa Canal demonstrates Afghanistan's ability to undertake large-scale projects independently. 
The hope is that more mega projects related to water management, farming, electricity, and infrastructure may follow, helping Afghanistan overcome its challenges and become a productive member of the international community. As for whether Afghanistan, under the rule of the Taliban, can complete this mega project and initiate new ones, it depends on various factors, including political stability, security, access to resources, and the willingness of the government to invest in such projects. The success of the Kosh Tepe Canal suggests that, under the right conditions, Afghanistan can achieve significant developmental milestones. However, ongoing challenges in the region, such as security issues and economic sanctions, could affect the implementation of future projects.